Rightio, let's talk green mass. Rightio guys, we're here to have a, a chat about remapping and the importance of getting someone that knows what they're doing to do it. That's right, so everybody mostly knows us from our high performance common rail diesel tuning. You know, yep. We do hold one and two positions in Australia's fastest common rail diesels, but what we do during the day is a lot of... Just straight remapping, exhaust systems, everyday stuff, uh, setting them up for towing and touring is mainly what we do here. Let's get into it and show you guys what's, what's involved in uh, what to do and what not to do. We'll basically just go over the no-nos, um, but, but, but you don't get to pick that. This is, comes down to the tuner and the guy behind the laptop. It has a lot to do with your coolant sensor. Barometric sensor up the back as well. Now, these two sensors are in, integral that you don't touch. The correctional values in these maps. Now, all that does is take the safety away from your vehicle. I always say to our customers, look, there's two ways of tuning this thing. I can make it foolproof where you can you know, go up the beach with your mates and, and thrash it and you won't hurt your vehicle or you can drive by pyro, which is you get all the fuel. Um, you can basically send these things out on 14 to ones, 15 to ones, not that we ever do, but you could as long as you drive by your pyro. That's right, because it's the heat that's gonna kill it, yeah, mm. definitely. So and half the people out there that do the remapping don't actually do remapping as such. Essentially you're getting a base file, what we start with. So all the tuning experience that we've done over the years goes into what we call a base file and generally not even their files are as good as our base file. No. Um, but that's where we start and from that point we tip more fuel in and more boost or less boost if it's needed from that point because they are all different and I think that's the difference between a, a slave file tuner and a master tuner and, and tuning the car for the environment that it's in because those two sensors take care of the actual environment that you place it in, but the environment we're talking about is what you put on the back or what you're towing. You're gonna to come to us for a remap because you want hundreds more newton meters. Yeah. Not 50, not 70, well over the 100 more newton meters. And we can pretty much offer that across the board with a common rail diesel. You know, like the Land Cruiser, you go from 320. And with all of our fruit, you can go out the door with 700. Just with a, a basic stage one upgrade. That's right. Um, you know, like we've punched out over 2,000 newton meters with this vehicle. So what do we aim for when we remap? We aim for combustion efficiency. If we get that in the chamber, despite what motor it is, you're gonna get torque, you're gonna get power, and you're gonna get fuel, fuel economy. economy. We do aim for maximum torque down low. Yeah. Um, because obviously everyone uses their car for towing up the beach. This helps out with everything. So. That's right. I mean, and there's also limitations in that as well too. In saying that, you know, your your VNT style turbo that most common rails have on there right now. If you bring them in too early, they do fail. So there, there's there's reasons why we do what we do. I mean, obviously with our remapping, you're gonna benefit from different products that we make for the car to give it extra fruit. I mean, that way you're not, you're not pushing the OEM parts too far. You might be running 30 pound through your standard turbo, but it doesn't matter if you can't make the horsepower because it can't breathe properly. That's right, the turbo's not gonna be efficient at, a standard turbo's not gonna be efficient at 30 PSI or 25 PSI. You're taking a past this efficiency range because the supporting products beyond the turbo being a standard intercooler or the duration or the injector's not being big enough, I mean, we, we don't guess with that kind of thing. We've upgraded, we've done the R&D with products that do work and some that haven't, and, and we haven't gone to production with them. So there's reasons behind certain products that we make, um, and it does further our knowledge in remapping as well too. That's exactly right, there is no guessing. We leave that for our own cars. There's a lot of products on the market these days that claim different things. You go and buy them, it doesn't do it, and, yep. and there's good reason for it, and then you pay but they twice. don't know what it is. Generally, it's not so much the paying twice that, that stings most people, because some people are just happy to pay twice and get it and, and learn from their mistake. It's the fact that it can destroy an OEM part, and generally the manufacturers aren't gonna help you out with a product that you failed because of a shop that was didn't have enough knowledge to do the remap on your car. That's exactly right. Yeah. They come extremely detuned from factory, yeah. and unfortunately, no matter whether you have eight or four or two, they all have a limit. So they all come out with the same similar power. 
Yep. Um, obviously your big diesel motors are detuned huge. Massively. So you can get them cracking pretty good I with mean, the standard. I mean we went 800 horsepower on a completely stock Land motor. Cruiser motor. Mate, it held the record for what, two years with that motor in it? Still, well, yeah, there's parts in the new motor that, that, that we bridged across and used, so. Unfortunately, it met its demise at a, at a Power Cruise event, as many performance cars do, so on a hot summer's day in the middle of Australia. The crowd wanted it. Cooked it, because that's what the crowd wanted. But they are very, very strong, very, very capable motor, the old common rail diesel. Despite what car it's in, it may very, very well. I would say that a great starting point for any vehicle, whether you tow and you're wanting more down low or whether you're a young fella and you just want more power. Stage one, just a remap and exhaust is the best upgrade you can go. Stage one, it's um, free horsepower, free fuel economy, yeah, everything. It's, it's definitely worth doing. Guys, if you want to get in contact with us for a remap or uh, any of our products, we do have the online store now as well, which yep. is uh, you can pretty much buy everything that we make on there. All the products are on um, there. But uh, yeah, don't be afraid to give us a call. Email's probably your best bet. Even text. Yep, that's it. We'll take it anyway. We will. Scotland.